Hi everyone, today I'm going to explain how to solve problem F from Adcoder beginning contest 171. Okay, so here we have a problem statement. Uh, so in this problem we can do a uh, following operation on a string, exactly k times. So we can choose any lowercase English letter and insert it like somewhere, like in any place. So yeah, we have to do this operation exactly k times. And at the end, we want to know how many different strings we can get. Okay, so, so actually here, um, if, we, if we do some experiments, we can notice that the letters in the string doesn't matter at all. So all that matters is uh, only thing that matters is length of, of the initial string. So yeah, so if you know that length that only length matters and letters doesn't matter, so let's suppose we have all the same letters. So let's say if we have uh, k which is equal, equal to five, we have string of length three. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Let me denote n as length of a string. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, we don't care about letters. So then let's say that all letters are the same. So it will be more convenient. So let's say all letters equal to a. Okay. Now, actually, we want to calculate number of strings of length uh, of length n plus k, right? Where we have at least, um, yeah, where we have, where we have at least, I guess, n uh, letters a, where we have, yeah, at least, um, at least n letters a. Okay. Yeah, actually, it has to be here. Yeah, where a number of a's is at least n. Okay, cool. So, so if you know some combinatorics, so I think this problem will be easy for you. Yeah, but if you if you not if you don't, yeah, let me just explain that how you can solve this problem. Okay, so let's suppose that we fix number of a's we have in in, in this string. So, so let this number be. Uh, let's say i, right? So we want to be this number at least n. So you want to be this number at least n. So this number can be from n to n plus k. Okay, so yeah, so now the control goes. Um, yeah, so let's say that we, ha that we have a string of length n plus k. Now, now we have, and now we uh, have i letters a in the string. Yeah, this letters can be like anywhere. Yeah, let, let me just circle these letters, uh, just as an example, where they can, can be, right? So for example, here, let's say that i is equal to four, right? Uh, but we don't want to count only one way. We want to count all possible strings, like all, all these lengths where we have exactly i uh, letters a, right? So this can be done easily with a um, with a formula, uh, which is called I guess n choose r. So we want to we want to know how many ways to choose i letters from from n plus k letters, uh, n plus n plus k possible letters. And in these positions, we will have letter A. So that will be, that will be um, N plus K, choose I, right? So, yeah, so we have that many like um, ways to arrange I letters A. And we also have we also have um, m plus k k minus i uh, positions which are which uh, weren't 
weren't filled with letter A, right? So, and now we can just fill these positions with other letters. And uh, since we use it like one letter and we, ha and we have left with 25 in other letters, so that will be, so thus we multiply this number by, uh, by 25 to the power n plus plus k minus i. Okay, so which is actually the answer for 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 a fixed i, right? But um, but our i can be like anything from from n to n plus k. Thus, the final answer will be just the sum of uh, of this for all possible i's. So yeah, let me just write what the final answer will like, look like. So it will be the sum of all possible i's from n to n plus k. And um, this will be n plus k, like choose i. So this is actually a number of ways to choose i items. Uh, or like i items from m plus k possible items times mm, times 25 to the power m plus k minus i and that's actually answer yeah that's it uh, so if you don't know the formula of uh, of, this, of this thing so let me just write it so so actually, to choose, for example, um, to, to choose, uh, for example, R objects from N possible objects, so the formula will be N factorial uh, divided by N minus R factorial times R factorial. Yeah, that's it. Now I would like to show my code for, for better understanding. Uh, from now I assume that you know how to divide by modular. Yeah, so actually to be able to solve this problem, you know, you have to know uh, how to divide by modular. Yeah, so from now, as I said, I assume that you uh, already know that. If you don't, just, uh, just Google about it and learn how to divide by modular. So here I just pre-compute factorials and like reverse factorials uh, to be able to divide by certain factorial. So also I have a function that computes uh, n choose r, number of ways to choose y uh, items from x like objects or items. Okay, now here I just fix number of a's I have or number of the same letters I have, uh, like from the initial string. And uh, add is number of different strings I have, like we can get, where we have uh, exactly i uh, letters a, and yeah, I just sum up this uh, for every possible i, and that's it. I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, if you really do, so make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video below. Okay, so see you in the next video. Bye bye.